Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Robert with Sherburn Outdoors and today we are in the beautiful Cherokee National Forest in October 2024. The leaves are turning, everything's getting bright orange and on fire and starting to fall. Today I want to talk about max tracks. You know, specifically, where do you mount them? Where do you store them? What do you do with them? I've had these for quite some time. In my previous setup that I had, I would shove it between two roam boxes in my bed uh, underneath of the tonneau cover. But when I did my new build where we put in the deck box, the new roof nest, uh, Condor Overland 2, the awning, the, we upgraded all the billy bars. I wanted to make everything much more intentional on where they would go. So while I was doing all this, to be honest, I would just put them right here uh, next to the deck system and, and, and close the tailgate. You know, that's a crazy thing uh, in that it does work and you can pull on them and they don't come out and they're very secure. But you know, if I had to open up the, uh, the deck, I'd have to move these and put them somewhere else. So I really put some effort in this. I thought about putting them on the side here, but I wanted to make sure they weren't in the way of the tent. On the other side, it's pretty well built up with your roto packs as well as my uh, water port storage. So I, I looked around, I looked on Max Track site, I looked all over Amazon, I looked at kind of what I wanted to do and where I had space. And you know what? I had a lot of space above the rooftop tent. This was an area I was looking at for using for solar and some other stuff. And so when I, I looked at what was available, you know, you could get a crossbar system for the roof nest, which is exactly what I did. I think it was about $200 on their site. Super easy to put in because I do have the aluminum uh, casing for this and it's got T-tracks all over it. So it was really easy to put on. It wasn't very difficult at all. And it is super stable and it puts everything just right above the cab. So when that was there, I started looking at what were my options for max tracks mounting you know what was easiest for me what was out of the way allowed me to lift my tent up was very intentional very secure and the things did not move when they were put in place so i went with the flat mount system from max tracks and it comes as a kit it's got the flat mount piece in there and then it's got the pins that actually go up through these points right here and you can turn. I, I'm not really talking about knockoff max tracks. I'm talking about the real ones. So I use the MK2s. I've got two of them. I'm actually looking at getting four of them. So I, I did buy this. It show, I bought it on a Monday. It showed up on a Friday, so it did. And I couldn't find it anywhere else other than the Max Tracks US website. Pretty happy with how easy it was to install. Let me just show you what it looks like up on the, uh, the top of the rooftop tent on the crossbars. And let's just kind of take a view of how all this works how secure it is, how you get it on, how you get it off, and then if you need to lock it, how does that work? So from a profile, you can see here, this is our crossbar, and then I've got this flat mounting system here, and it's got the pins that come up, and these pins, just they just really turn when you wanna lock it in place, and then when you wanna open it up, and if you wanna lock it in place, it then opens up a hole right here where you can funnel in a lock through. And it's like this on every single pin. I think you probably only need to lock one of them. Now, if we look at this from the top, you know, here's my two uh, T-tracks. This has your pins. There's a, there's a bolt that comes up underneath of this and these pins go into it. It's got the nylon washers. And then you've got a simple track system in here that will pretty much fit everything. You're only supposed to use two bolts. I went and bought more because I wanted this thing really locked down. And then again, once, you're, you know, once these things are locked in, you've got the option to move two of these and put them in place. So if you've got four, you just would uh, use move the top piece. If you only have two, like I have right now, you move the whole thing and it will adjust. Let's, uh, let's put these on and I'll show you how it works. Putting these on these mount is very simple. You just slide them over the back. It goes straight in place like that. And whether you have two or four, they fit perfectly in the slots. And to secure these down, you just take this latch, you just pull it up, and it gets really tight here. It makes this very tight. And then when you do it to all of them, it's very secure. Now it does open up a hole when you turn that top piece. Now, if you have four of these, you'll just turn the top piece. You won't turn the second piece here. And when all four of them are locked into place, this is not moving at all. See here, I can remove the whole truck. And it is super secure, super tight. And more importantly, it just doesn't move around. And when these are in their place, again, this is all about being intentional. It is out of the way. When I lift up the rooftop tent, these move up and they're way above the awning and out of the way, unless I need them for leveling the truck at camp. So, hey, this wasn't meant to be a long video. I just wanted to talk about how I was storing um, 
you know, these, these max tracks. You're, that's always a big thing. I've watched a lot of people with their storage where they're putting them on the back or they're putting them in different areas. I had been storing them in the back of the Gladiator for the last several years, and I will tell you, they were always in the way. <laughs> you know, if I had to move things around, I had to put them around. So again, this was being very intentional with this current build and how we set it up and having the expansion for the other two Max tracks. I think I'm going to order them today off of Amazon, have them come. And, and the, by the way, this is all for just Max tracks. They're, I don't know about third-party brands that they'll fit inside of this or not, no idea, but the Max tracks MK2s do. And again, I paid for all of this with my own money. I'm just kind of a fanboy of Max Tracks. And I, pay, I paid about $129 for these, and they came pretty quick. So hey, if you got a lot of value out of this, please click that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and click that bell to be notified when we got new content out. Again, thank, for, thank you for your time out in this beautiful, beautiful day here in the Cherokee National Forest in late October.